Hi, welcome to the tutorial for the glasses case. So I've cut all my pieces out. We have one lining piece of template C. I have one template B in my main chosen fabric and three template A's, which is one lining and two main fabric. And the first thing you need to do is get your template B, sorry, and one of your template A's. And we're going to place template C, sorry, B, on top of our template A, and we're going to stitch across the top here. So we've joined those two pieces together, and I have pulled the seam down and done a top stitch across the top here. And what we're gonna do now is just fold that along the seam line and give it a press. So this is going to be the back of our glasses case along with our main fabric flap. And uh, the next thing we're going to do, is gonna set that aside and we're going to get the last two A template fabric, which is one in the lining, which is my blue, and one in my main fabric. I'm going to place those right sides together. And we're going to stitch across the short edge at the top and the bottom. Right, so we've just sewn together the lining in the main across the top and the bottom of template A and I'm going to turn it right side out. I'm going to press the ends here and I'm going to top stitch along the top of my fabric across here okay for the next stage we're going to start joining all the bits of fabric together so and you're going to get your template a main and lining fabric and you're going to place it so this is going on top at the join line here so you've got your main fabric next to one another here and your lining fabric goes together and you're gonna place this back over the top here and we're going to pin in place right we're going to set this side uh, piece aside for a second and we need to prepare our strap that we're going to have to um, tuck in our lid here or our flap so in order to do this what we're going to do is fold this in half and we're going to go and sew across the top there and then we're going to turn it inside out okay the right way round right so I've just finished sewing our little loop holder here I'm going to place that you can place it where you'd like on the front here but remember it's going to tuck in our um, top of our glasses case so this is the lining part and obviously that's the outer part here so I would just fold that over and then place this where you would like that to be and I'm going to go for about there open it back out make sure it's nice and straight nice and straight down the bottom there Fold all of this back over and you're going to pin back in place. Now the next stage, now you can, if you wanted to, you could swap the lining of your lid here for the glass wipe material that you've got in your box so that you can just use that as a cleaner as you put it in and out of your glasses case which would be quite a nice idea to do so what we're going to do now 
we're going to sew all the way around here leaving a gap around here to turn through the fabric now if you'd like to have square edges obviously keep going all the way around if you want to do curved edges then you can draw that on now with a fabric marker and um, you can add those on which is what I'm going to do now I probably won't have any to hand but a top tip with that is getting something circular like a coin I've just got a little water jug here so I'm just going to use this one here and you just place it on the edging and you can just do your curved lines that you can follow with your machine okay so we've got those there so we're going to sew all around here around here around here up in here i'm going to probably stop about there and leave that gap there to turn through right so we feel and um, we've sewn all the way around did our curve here when you are drawing that curved line um i did forget to mention the um, seam allowance of a quarter of an inch so you can just see that I've gone down a quarter of an inch and just followed that across all the way around here and then we've got our opening which we're going to turn through now and before you do that we are going to trim around the edges the excess fabric and cut into the curve when I say cut into the curve you're going to do little snips up to the curve line all across the curved areas and this just takes away bulkiness so i'll see you back in a minute once that's all done okay so turn this all inside out um when you leave gap make sure is the gap in the lid because it's only got two bits of fabric that's uh you need to then join. So what we're going to do is tuck those seams in together and we're going to press this and then just on the lid here we're going to do a top stitch around here and close that gap clo uh, shut and then we're going to work on some decoration. Okay? Okay, so we're coming to the end of this tutorial and as you can see we have got our <clears throat> glasses case with our strap going across there or loop and we can pop our glasses. I haven't got my sunglasses but I can put my glasses in there and we can fold it over. Now what I thought would be quite nice is to add a little bit of embellishment. So in your box you do have some buttons and what I'm going to do, you can place it wherever you like but I've decided to place I'm just going to place one and I think I'm going to have it there on my strap so I'm about to sew that on and that will be the end of the tutorial so enjoy your glasses case <laughs> 